Jojo has fun. Cam's ordering pizza. I have. Uh, a, no, I know. I could totally also play this game. I have and a order tummy, pizza. tummy ache. Hey, everybody. So, <clears throat> this is a game called West of Loathing. You may have heard of it. If not, you've heard of it now. You've heard of it now. You can't. You can't tell people that you have not heard of it. The company that makes this game is called Asymmetric Productions or Asymmetric Entertainment. <sighs> They make an online game called Kingdom of Loathing, which has existed since 2004. Uh, you, it's a game that's browser-based. It's an MMO. It's fucking hilarious, and it's dope. I love this game. God damn it. Wait, my- you can get more beans? Hell yeah. I like games that you collect beans. Well, then you are in luck. All okay. Right. Wanted for protagonizing. So am I a man or a lady? You're a lady. All right. Now, wait. You could be. A, wait. Hold on. Wait. Bear was an option. Let's oh, change my name. Oh. I want cub. I want go. Cat Cogburn. Edit your name. Cat Cogburn. Cat Cogburn. Okay. Can I change? I can't change my hair. I don't think. Uh, change your character. Okay. Well. Oh my god! I'm excited about this. All right. I'm gonna hit. Uh, you know, I guess I can't have anything but blonde hair. But I'm gonna hit play. You don't know it's blonde. It's just not colored in. Fair. I had the strangest dream last night. I was choosing a character class. Are you a bean slinger? A snake oiler? Oh, don't be a snake oiler. Uh, I think you should be a bean slinger you based on the fact I that you are... beans. Magic and cooking are in- inextricably t- intertwined in loathing. And the bean slinger is the mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home. Do the most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. Wow. I want to be a bean slinger. Oh, there you are. This in your room. room. Cool. All right. This weird poster appeared here one night. You sp- spy in one of your books. Be a brown in the incident forgotten gulch. The miracle at the terrible graveyard. Blanche Hardy and the Trouble with the Zombie Citadel. That was one of my favorites. Etta Brown and the Curse of the Vampire Slayer. I love that one. Floyd Danger and the Terrible Castle. My dad gave that to me when I was a kid. Vernon Danger and the Mystery of the Curse Cellar. I remember that one. Oh, hey, this might come in handy. You got the item, Walking Stupid. Hey, that bird. This book tells the tale of a running gate sheriff who is really, really bad at walking. Read it. You read the book cover to cover and learn how to walk stupid. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. Oops. Well, but now you know how to walk stupid. <laughs> <laughs> look at those. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that was worth it. Goodbye, desk. Come here. Oh. Gain one XP. Ooh, toward the skill up. Cool. Hey, Russell. How you doing? Caw! Good to miss you, buddy. Caw, caw, caw! Feed Russell a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. No! Oof, maybe it's time for you to leave, too. You open your bedroom window. Not pictured. Unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you and calls one last time and flies away to the west. Time to hit the dusty trail. All right. All right. This game is already the best game. Stack firewood. That we've played all day. Yep. You're going to miss mom's cooking. It's mom's pie safe. Keeps all her pies safe. Oh, oh shit. Little brother's room. It's covered with all those weird diagrams. You pick up one of your brother's books. On the application of dynamics of general mathematical method previously... The title gives me a headache. Books. Oh, look at the toys. What about the toys? Okay. It's your brother's toy box. Yeah, you got a puzzle cube. Let's look at it. So you've played this game before? Yep. Fiddle with it. Let's fiddle. Your brother had already solved the most of the way, but you figure out the last moves. Gain an XP. Hooray! Cool. <laughs> oh my god. This is great. Alright. Family. Your mom smiles as you approach. I'm leaving now, Ma. <laughs> I hope someday my crab my child crab walks up to me and says I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave. I got you a present. My present, eh? It better be, uh, better be Bitcoin. <laughs> well, no. We've decided Bitcoin is going down. Really? It's going to be part of the dot-com bust 
of that in the early 2000s. <laughs> yeah. It's just a really late, really late part of that same thing that happened. A present? Yep, it's a book you wanted for Crimbo. Oh, uh, Merry Crimbo, everybody. Oh, I Merry it's, Crimbo. It's early, but... Ha, okay, ha, so ha. this is important, Kim. Oh. Is it the book about picking locks, desert survival, or bartering? Oh, boy. Um... Not picking locks. Okay. But either desert survival or bartering. Let's do bartering. This one. Enjoy it. You got the item. Mind your meat. Please be careful and write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I can't write, Mom. Goodbye. What's this pizza? Cali Chicken Bacon Ranch. This book is a guide to making the most of your meat by getting the best possible deal on every single thing you buy. Gives you the dickering skill. Reading the book from cover to cover and learn, among other things, that its cover price is way too high. You got the skill dickering. You drive a hard bargain and you never let anybody sell you the long end of a stick. 10% discount. Nice. After you're done reading, you use your newfound skills to pawn it off on a wide-eyed rube for 60 meat. Oh, the money in this game is meat. Done and done. There's my paw. Your father morosely jabs a haystack. That hat don't fit you, Dad. I grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite can of beans. You got an item, a can of infinite beans. You think a can with a limited number of beans would be exciting, but these beans are terrible. This is cool to carry around, though. Thank you. Sweet. Him. Thank you, Dad, for all those beans. Thanks, Dad. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I already did. You were like right fucking there. How did you not see that? You're a bad parent. This is why I'm leaving. You never get me. Fuck off. Also, I'm going to destroy your haystack. Who's that? Is that Grampy? I found a needle. Get it? The get haystack it, had a needle haystack? in it. Your brother Rufus is looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle. You hand him the puzzle and he fidgets with it. Say goodbye. Hey, Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. Oh, he has glasses, fucking dork. He's got a... <laughs> oh, you can't see perfectly? What do you do all the time? Read. Stupid. Why are you going west? To help people? To seek your fortune? Or to get off this stupid farm? Uh, what, well, am I, what am I doing, Kim? Not fortune. Okay. Either to help people or to get off a stupid farm. Let's help people. You read the papers, Rufus. People out west are in trouble. And you know the help they can get. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that's the statistic from before the cows came home. Oh, my God. You're such a nerd. How can I change my answer to get off the stupid farm? Fucking piece of garbage, kid. Uh, I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay. If you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. You'll be dead by, by Crimbo. Crimbo. <laughs> I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give him a playful punch in the arm. Now let's leave. Go west, young woman? Hell yeah. Looks like this isn't your first rodeo. Would you like to skip Boring Springs and head straight to Dirt Water? Any horses or partners you unlocked with previous game will be available. And you'll start with 1281 meat and some of important items from Boring Springs. Dude, it's up to you. Uh, I'll play the prologue. Build my own pizza. You can't, can't take a pizza. <laughs> Hitch and ride across the Great Plains. This is the opening credits. I'm on a turnip cart. Zach Johnson. He makes Kingdom of Loathing. And he's a pretty cool guy. I messaged him once. Really? Victor Thompson. Do you write back? Uh, yeah, he said talk to my assistant. I did. She was nice. Film editor Kevin Simmons. Hey, Kev. Good job. Dialect coach Riff Connor. Yeah, this dialect is looking real tight. Real, real tight. Stunt coordinator. What the fuck are you talking about? Wes Cleveland. <laughs> Key grip. What's a grip? Isn't that a person who holds a microphone? Boom Why the fuck's a boom operator? <laughs> wow. What the fuck happened and they made this game? 200 miles later. Oh, okay. It's 200 miles. Here we are. Farewell, stranger. I hop off my turn turn up to cart. Oh, I'm a little... I ate turnips last night. They were delicious. Really? 
Well, that's exciting. Okay, so I'm considering a turnip pizza, garlic parmesan white sauce with bacon, chicken, and black olives. That sounds good. I actually turned my stomach a little bit when I thought of it. <laughs> I have a tummy ache. That, that sounds good in a horrible way. I have a tummy ache, everybody. Did you know? <laughs> Merry uh, Christmas. Happy not much New of a Year's. town. Get up and dust yourself off, whore. No, you got no ride, no meat, no prospects. You're going to turn into a life of crime. You're going to kill the innocent and strike fear in the hearts of anyway. The good news is you're in a town rather than a gulch. You are going to make big things, but you're going to be a prostitute just like everybody else. Well, Everyone is a prostitute under capitalism. Welcome to the West. Get up and dust yourself off. Okay, so now I'm in the town of Bonnie Springs, so I can do all kinds of stuff. Ooh, a turnip! I'm going to get a turnip. Got a dusty turnip. Ew. Turnip covered in grit. Increases all my stats by one for the rest of the day. Okay. I am going to eat that. Okay. Frozen embryo snow baby conceived the year after mother is born. Frozen embryo snow baby conceived the year after. Does that mean that born. they like? There was an embryo that was they, frozen. They uh, the day after or after the mother was born, so they unfroze an embryo. So they harvested an embryo from a baby. Yeah. Danielle provided us with something to ponder. Yeah, they froze an embryo and then they used it. So wait, so then your mom can be a year older than you? Well, no, because you don't count your age until you're born. I'm walking oh, yeah. in between cactuses, and I got the skill mostly scabs. You and poke with so many cactuses that your bodies build up an extra set of skin capillaries just to deal with the constant tiny puncture wounds. Sweet. Awesome. I'm so. This makes me so excited to go to Death Valley. Yuck. Okay. Can't use anything of that. Yuck. Yow. Yeah. We're going next week. As you walk into the saloon, a crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you. Where's to get your, your hat? Well, I... You can't drink here with a hat. Take proper. He points to take a hat, leave a hat box near the door. Check out the box. You dig through the box and find a magical black Stetson that looks like something you'd wear. Thanks, sir. Pete! Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, gal. Yeah, good looking. <laughs> you headed west? If any uh, want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. He is, ooh. Well, uh, No pressure. Oh, that's what they all say. No pressure, except I am pushing on you. I will keep that I in mind. I am just mind. pushing. Okay. Born Spring. Welcome to Born Springs. Oh, man. Look, this. Sleepy, look, at, all, look at all these. A sleepy these little man. He's sleeping. Ziz. He's all zizzes. It's a spittoon. People spit into it, you know, without even looking at it. That's disgusting. Look at it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum. It looks like there's teeth in there. It's disgusting. And the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees peering into a filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what's wrong with you. Oh, wait. Is there something shining at the bottom? Get it. You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! I like how you did the Sig Heil. Oh, I, oh my god, no! <laughs> you I just raised my arm in the air! Yes, you did, Adolf. God, you plunge your hand into the so awful soup. White. It makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search! Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's tureen slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring, and probably a disease as well. Congratulations. Oh, hooray. hooray. I have now acquired a nasty ring. Hell yeah. This Getting this ring was traumatic. You have to admit it was worth it. And yeah, the, oh. it was worth it. You're not wearing any pants. <sighs> Kim, you're right. No pants, no boots. But I'm going to get some service next time when JoJo has fun. Yay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pay for this pizza. 